In an attempt to woo the BJP's prime ministerial nominee, the United States have put an end to the nine-year boycott and Envoy Nancy Powell will be meeting Narendra Modi on Thursday. But miffed by the development, Congress has sharpened its attack, comparing 2002 to the Holocaust, asking the United States to consider human rights before changing its stand towards Modi. As far as any other country treating him, or for that matter, any, any other political party dealing with him, Everything has to be done on uh, on merits. They have to understand uh, that they are dealing with a particular set of of circumstances. They are dealing with a particular background of the person that they are dealing with. Uh, but that's it's their decision. We didn't persuade anyone not to give a visa, and we are not going to say that uh, you give a visa, it's a good thing. You but it was always that. used by the Congress to make a political point. So isn't that taken away from the Congress well, now? I, the uh, the Americans uh, make a political point uh, when they talk about uh, trial of Nazis, right? They make a pol political point. We are not involved in it, but it is their perception of what is what is uh, adequate compliance with with fundamental rights of human beings, of of human rights, etc. It's their 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 uh, assessment, and I certainly hope that that whether it's with or without interaction with any person like Mr. Modi, that they will, uh, the, the Americans and indeed Europeans and anybody else, uh, will, apply, will apply standards that are consistent with standards that are applied uh, across the world for uh, expectations that we have from people in power uh, in their dealings with ordinary human beings, um, what we described as compliance with human rights. All right, we also spoke to Milan Vaishnav. He's an expert from the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. He said that sensing Modi wave, United States is trying to make up for 10 years of mistrust. You know, I think that the big issue here is the fact that the U.S. ambassador is going to meet with Narendra Modi. I actually think the visa issue is a non-issue in the short run. That's because the United States policy is not to preemptively issue visas to anyone around the world. Uh, the United States will uh, consider giving a visa uh, only once a visa is applied for. So I think until and unless Narendra Modi applies for a U.S. visa, that issue is not going to see any change between now and the election. Uh, so I think that's something where I, my sense is we won't see any movement uh, until, and again, unless Narendra Modi becomes the prime minister. I think that it's a significant development that the U.S. has indicated that it is going to directly engage with uh, the BJP's prime ministerial candidate, Narendra Modi. This is something which has been the subject of much speculation, uh, both in India as well as in Washington, and I think it's been a thorn uh, in the side of the relationship, and that this administration has been looking for a way out of the tricky position that it's found itself in. So I think it's quite significant. Uh, the U.S. State Department had to uh, contend with uh, diverse voices within the